Frugalsim videos are powered by Jetline Systems. Hello YouTube, this is Frugal. Now just a quick video today, but since I put up that last video showing how I use X camera in X plane, a number of people have messaged me on Facebook, on YouTube and other means as well, asking how on earth did I set up a Razer device to work with X camera? So I'm gonna walk you through how I set my Razer Orb Weaver up to work with both FSX, prepared and explain all exactly the same way. So the first thing you wanna do is pop open the Razer programming software. So that would be Synapse, right? It's the same thing. It applies to Tartarus and all the other Razer devices as well. Now you'll notice the keypad by default issues keys. So apostrophe, one, two, three, four, Q, W, E, R, and so on and so on. What you need to do, this is the laborious bit, but you only need to do it once for every SIM, is reassign every single button. So we're gonna click on this one. You'll notice the button assignment here says default. And if you drop that down, you can issue a keyboard function. You're not gonna do that. What you're gonna do is issue a joystick function, button, and then give it a number. So the first one is button number one. The second one, you can see where this is going, I'm sure, is joystick button number two. And the third one, joystick. <laughs> you see where this is going, right? Button number three, and so on and so on. Let me pop over my profile that I already had prepared, or in the words of Blue Peter, for those of you old enough to remember, here's one I made earlier. There we go, as you can see, button, 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 button. Every single button on the Razer Orb Weaver is assigned to a joystick button number. Once you assign these things to joystick buttons, you will find in X-Plane that X-Plane picks up your Razer Orb Weaver, your Razer Tartarus, your Razer whatever, your Logitech whatever, as a joystick. I'll show you that now. Let's pop on over into X-Plane. Okay, so within X-Plane, once you have your keypad set up properly to send joystick buttons, you will find that if you go into settings joystick, you now have, is it this one? It is this one. It's that weird one at the top there. That would be your programmable device. And you can test it by just pressing buttons and see if they trigger anything. You can see they are triggering stuff. Now to assign them, what I do, let's choose this one. This is selects previous camera in the current camera category. What I do is I click on edit and type in X camera. And then what will happen is all the list of um, bindings you have on the right hand side here are X camera bindings because I typed X camera at the top. So now I can select what I want that button to do, which is select the previous camera in the current category, choose that, gonna apply. For the actual views themselves, that would be these buttons here. And you can see they're just set to assign a view with an ID of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Simple as that. So I have specific buttons that are assigned to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now having set the buttons up to trigger those view IDs, <laughs> I was gonna say all you need to do, but I realize this is quite a lot of work, but you only need to do it one time per plane. What you can do is you can go into X camera, open your control panel, if you have your views already defined, and then just find the views that you want and set the ID. So I have a button which is set to issue a view, sorry, which I have a button set to select a view with an ID of four, so I'm gonna set this view to be four. I have a button higher up, which is looking up, sorry, looking down, sorry, which is looking at the uh, CDU in a 737 or the instrument stack, and I have that set to view ID number seven. Once those things are done, because I have buttons on my Orb Weaver to issue specific view IDs, and I have the IDs set on the views I've defined, you'll find that your Razer Orb Weaver or whatever can simply jump through. You can see up here it's saying, can't find a view ID one, two, three, and so on. That's because I haven't defined those view IDs, but I have got that one set and I have got that one set, and I have got that one set, and so on, and so on. I hope that helps. As always, my name is Frugal. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you very soon.